Okay. Hello to everyone watching this on YouTube later. We're in a live class session today and we are going to be looking at section 3.8, but we're going to start with a little warm up looking at some implicit derivatives. Um, so for our first warm up here, um, we're told that y is a function of x, as it usually is. And we're going to take the implicit derivative with respect to x of the following equation. Okay, the equation is x minus y squared equals 3. Okay, now this one you might actually be able to solve explicitly for y. Um, but since we have y squared in your process of solving explicitly, you'd probably take a square root and that can cause some issues uh, domain wise, positive negative sign wise. So it's really kind of in our better interest to do this implicitly here. Okay, so we'll go through this and yeah, if the folks on the live call here have questions, um, I might read them off of the chat or have someone else talk here, but just we'll, we'll go through it, see what you think. Um, so our idea for the implicit derivative is to take the derivative of everything, the whole equation on both sides, and we are told to do this with respect to x. That's what the WRT is for. Okay, so this is pretty common shorthand uh, for with respect to. Okay, so with respect to x. All right, so we're taking d dx of x minus y squared and then do both sides of the equation. So that equals d dx of 3. Okay. So, how about you guys do the right-hand side over here? Um, anyone on the call got that derivative for us? Stick it in the chat or unmute yourself. Do -do -do. Let's see. All right. Doesn't look like we've got any takers at the moment. Um, but remember, this is just a normal derivative of a constant. So we're just going to get zero on that side. All right. And then on the left hand side, remember that we can break these up into two different derivatives to help us just look at one little piece at a time. So we'll take the derivative with respect to x of x then minus the derivative with respect to x of y squared. Maybe I'll scoot that over a little bit so we get a little more space there. All right. Okay, and that first term is not going to be too bad. Derivative with respect to x of x is just a normal derivative like we're used to taking. The respect variable matches the variable in our uh, little function there. So that's just going to be a one. And then for the derivative with respect to x of y squared, that's where it gets more interesting and we really have to go implicit on this. Um, so remember, we're going to treat this like a little tiny chain rule. So um, I'll take this off to the side real quick. We're doing derivative with respect to x of y squared, but remember that y is actually a function of its own. It's a function of x, it tells us right here. Um, so we're really looking at a little tiny chain rule there. All right, where our interior function, inside function, is going to be y. So that was me doing a little cover up rule there, cover up the inside. And we'll take the derivative of our outside function. That would be 2 purple blob to the first um, times the derivative with respect to x of the purple blob. So we'd have purple blobs here and here with our chain rule cover up style. 
but then you would uncover and see that those are really Y. So Y is going to go here and Y is going to go here. Except don't make your parentheses disappear. There we go. So there's a Y and there's a Y. Okay. And so this, I'm going to erase that little exponent of 1 because we don't need it anyway. Um, that's just going to be 2y. And then derivative with respect to x of y is just the familiar notation dy dx. Okay, so that's our derivative. Let's put it in here. 2y dy dx equals 0 there. And then to really solve for the derivative itself, we'll solve for dy dx just to finish it out here. Solve for dy dx. And so we would have um, 2y dy dx equals 1. Um, if you add that over to the other side, and then kind of spin the equation around. So we'd end up with dy dx equals 1 over 2y. And that would be our implicit derivative. Okay. Um, so I'll pause for a second here. I'll stop the recording for just a sec, and then we'll go on to the next warm-up after this. Okay. <laughs> 